All right, well, this is Perry Mason. Today's video will show you how to put LS1 Camaro brakes on a 74 Nova. This is my buddy 74 Nova. And we find a few surprises along the way. The springs, they weren't cut, they were torched. Like, you know, you put bricks under a car, you torch the springs. Left side, it was so bad that they had to put little twisty wedge spaces in there. I mean, it was bad. But anyways, here's the brakes. You got a good look at them. They sit nice with the 17 inch wheels. They come around the other side and then see what they look like without a wheel. All right, here's a key ingredient to remember. These, are, these aren't stock hoses, but these are what would be stock for a 98 Camaro if you upgraded the braided hoses. And all you need is, at a little adapter you can get an AutoZone that'll convert your inverted flare line into a bubble flare line, a metric line, to be able to use uh, 98 Camaro hoses and still use your factory steel lines if they're in good shape. If they're not in good shape, you know, you could replace them with factory lines off a of 74 Nova. And these are drum hubs. I put longer studs in them. And the hubs themselves have been turned down to fit the hat of the 12 inch rotor. These will fit with the 16 inch wheels. So this is the kind of thing you want to go for if you got, if you like a little more meat on your wheels instead of just, you know, a low profile tire. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. It'll be an in-depth video. I'll try to show you as much as I can. And for all you guys that don't know how to do, this is a similar a brake swap to the Corvette one, but the Corvette one just has different parts. So I hope you enjoy it. All right. Well, I took apart the front of, because I don't have to actually take the drums apart, like all official likes. All I had to do was take the spindle nut off. Uh, well, pop the grease cap off, take the spindle nut off and pull out his outer bearing and then just slide the whole entire drum off. And then as I was going to set it down, the drum came apart. So this drum hub off a of 74 Nova, same bolt pattern, same stud thread pattern, but is different from my 67 Tempest. I'd be willing to bet it's the same as 68 Camaro. Pontiac had this weird thing they call it wide track. And so not all Pontiac hubs are the same as I've discovered. But this, this is a regular GM, you know, Nova, Camaro kind of front hub. But what's rare on this, well, other than the crappy little tiny little drum, the Tempest comes with a lot bigger, a lot heavier duty drums, because they were heavier cars. But the bearings are the same. The bearings, the inner and outer bearings are the same part number, just so you guys know. But uh, this drum came off the hub without me having to press the studs out. So we'll see what that means in a little bit. So, this one's a little bit different from my Firebird and my Tempest. Is I'm taking the sheet, there's a little piece of sheet metal with the two wings locking the uh, this anchor bolt in place. And it looks like a 7 8 wrench, just about, or a 13 16. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the wrench and try to unscrew it. That way, I don't have to cut it off like I did on Pontiac. But... All right. So this bolt I undid using a 24 millimeter wrench, which is so it's a one inch head, is actually threaded for the 5.8 that was promised to us by a classic performance. My Pontiac, both of my Pontiacs are threaded for half inch. Like I said, there's three different bolts that could be up here, the upper anchor bolt. So in this instance, what I'm gonna do, and this is the whole plate, you don't need to disassemble it, you don't need nothing, you just chuck it aside. Maybe somebody wants it. I don't know why in the world they want such tiny brakes, but anyways. And uh, I'm going to cut the goofy shit off the top of this and just use it as the bolt it was intended to be and use it to anchor the top of the adapter plate. This is his anchor bolt. The top anchor bolt is a 5 8 uh, 20 thread or whatever it is. It's a fine pitch thread. Instead of trying to find this bolt somewhere in the hardware store, the way I figure is the bolt that came out of there uh, makes a perfectly good bolt once I cut off all the weird funkiness and it's just a one inch head, right? So fuck it, let's go to town. Don't do what I just did. 
you'll either light yourself on fire or get shit in your eyes. I just don't have my safety glasses on me. I'm in somebody else's yard. Um, and wear gloves, because when the blade catches, it'll, it'll fuck your hands up. So, this anchor stud, whatever it was, I cut all the goofy shit off it, making a nice, clean hex head. And these are the BRP Hot Rods plates. Alright, now I got the bracket on, the modified bolt on, and I'm putting the two steering arm bolts on. Uh, they're two different lengths, so make sure to get the right ones, otherwise it'll be too short. And you're putting it back together. There's, okay, under this bolt, there's a little spacer. It's just a washer. Um, it goes under there and just keeps everything perpendicular to the spindle. You don't want your calipers sideways. They'll work, actually. Your, your pads will just wear funny until they get down to the end, and then they'll just wreak havoc. But uh, it's nicer if everything's parallel and perpendicular and working at the angles they're supposed to work at. My buddy, I just discovered a uh, problem with his suspension problem. First off, come here and show this. Sorry. If you look at his springs, see how they're not parallel? They're all kind of funky and twisted. That's because he, not him, but somebody before us, used the old uh, torch trick. They put bricks under the car at the desired ride height, and they would torch the springs until the car settled on the bricks, and then let the br and let the springs cool. What that does is completely destroy the springs, make them soggy. It does lower the car. However, it is, man, it is just a horrible way to do it. And they took the front sway bar away. I don't know why. Um, it didn't do anything bad for the car. Taking it away makes it worse. It rolls, because the springs barely contain the car's weight, and then it rolls back and forth without a sway bar. So as soon as we can, we're gonna put in better front springs. Something nice, American made and a good sway bar, at least a stock one, or you know, a slightly better than stock one, so his car can actually handle and make use of the brakes that we're putting on right now. All right, so here are the 12 inch rotors. Um, they slip right on the hub. These hubs have been turned down, so these aren't the same hubs you would use for a Corvette conversion. Again, these are 98 Camaro brakes. Slip on, the brackets bolted on in the back. And make sure you don't lose these bolts whenever you're buying the conversion or whatever. Or whenever you're buying the used brakes. Slip the caliper over. Yeah, I need the light from the camera. And get in there so you can see. Alright. The bolt right here. Goes in like so. The bolt up top. I'm gonna do the bottom one first. Now, these calipers are interchangeable with 2006 Corvette calipers, 2005 Corvette calipers, 2004, as well as any generation of the new GTOs with the LS motors. But the, uh, the only thing different is the actual bracket that the calipers go to. The, uh, the pads are the same, except for the material and the calipers are interchangeable. So using this 98 Camaro bracket, you can then go with a stiffer caliber off uh, 06 GTO, and so on and so on, just so you guys know. Uh, the caliper mounting themselves is, uh, these two little bolts are the same. All right, well we installed my 98 Camaro brakes on my buddy. 74 Nova, and we learned some things. Nova spindles, or Nova spindles, I mean, uh, the Nova hubs are a little bit different than the Tempest Pontiac hubs. A little less heavy duty, maybe a little easier to work with, so the part number for the studs is different. Um, the other thing we learned is the upper anchor bolt on a 74 Nova is indeed a 5 8 bolt, instead of half inch like on the Pontiac. Other than that, everything's just plug and play. They're identical spindles. All the plumbing's the same. You need an adapter for bubble flare to inverted flare. So you can use stock brake hoses off an 98 Camaro and stock 
brake lines off of 74 Nova. You just need a little brass adapter fitting. So there's nothing fancy, nothing special about that. And these 17 inch wheels that we picked ahead of time, clear the brakes beautifully. Well, we're doing the other side because, you know, we're trying to get it all done today. We're going to do the actual plumbing tomorrow. It's a massive cylinder on this guy to get changed. But check this out. The dude over torched this side and actually had to put like stupid little wedge spaces in there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's fucked up. Whoever's doing this, come on, guys. Really? Cutting the coil off of spring is one way to do it, and people think that's bad. This is worse. No sway bar, like I said, it's still got part of the link left. <laughs> well, as always, we always have an adventure on here, but this car will soon have disc brakes on both sides. If you enjoy it, as always, on Vince for Brotherhood, keep it real like none other. Oh, my God.